This video will cover the Spherical Divergence Correction module. The Spherical Divergence Correction module has several options to correct for attenuation of the data by transmission. The correction can be applied while referencing a velocity function and can be applied in offset dependent or offset independent mode. This module also provides the option to apply a simple exponential gain correction without the need for velocity information. Spherical divergence is run inside a seismic loop. The first step is to set an approximate near surface velocity here. The simplest option is to set an exponential gain correction. To use this option, set your correction here under exponential correction. Using this, you do not need to specify an input velocity. Test your values to determine a desired correction. To use the correction as a spherical divergence, first specify an input velocity model. The velocity can be a simple regional velocity or a more complex model for areas with significant spatial changes in velocity. If you do not have a velocity model saved to the database, you can generate one from a picking file using the Create Velocity Model module or create a new one using the Stack Imaging module. In offset dependent mode, the correction will be applied based on the referenced velocity function. This correction will be offset dependent. In offset independent mode, the correction will be applied based on the specified t power and v power coefficients. These coefficients control the power scaling factors related to the time and velocity coefficients as noted here. Once you have run your chosen correction, you can see the result of your amplitude change here in the amplitude graph. Red represents the input amplitude and green represents the new amplitude. For more information, please check out our other tutorial videos or visit us at geomage.com.